India, the land of the Vedas, has lent its indelible imprint on Christianity, which has flourished in this country without fear. But in turn, the young religion has contributed to the growth and upliftment of the ancient motherland. Christian intellect has played its role in the evolution of modern India. It was in the spreading of the word of Christ that the scripts of many Indian languages evolved. Christian scholars, many of them foreigners, but several others, very much Indians, did pioneering work recording the demographic diversity of this country, surveying its flora, its fauna, and its people. Perhaps the most important influence of Christian thought was in the evolution of the Indian Renaissance. The Renaissance sowed seeds, in turn, of the Indian freedom struggle. With the liberal winds which blew in with Christian educational institutions, the time was ripe for the socio-political and cultural awakening which inevitably followed. Many great Indian political and social reformers were products of a Christian education. In the Constituent Assembly, Christian representatives rejected the idea of seats reserved for them on the basis of religion. As they proclaimed in the Constituent Assembly, they will exist as Indians. The fate of India would be their fate. Their faith in Indian secularism was final. They were one with other people of the country and needed no special protection, nor guarantees or assurances. As the years go by, the church in India has been in deep introspection about its growth and its role in the emerging India of the future. The focus has shifted from conversion and evangelization to social service and the spiritual and mental uplift of those who come into contact with the church and its people. The years after independence have found Indian Christians intensify the movement to take the church closer to the people. An important role in this has been played by many churches and priests to Indianize the liturgy and to adopt typical local forms of worship. The Indianization of Christianity is one of the most fascinating areas of study. And now, several churches have seriously embarked on a more formal process of creating an Indian atmosphere of worship. Several architects and artists have devised churches and altars in an absolute Indian grammar, producing a rare serenity of purpose. Breaking away from the steep spires and domes, this church is built in the traditional wood and granite idiom of Kerala, with a roof of tiles. The process of Indianization peaks in the ashrams. The solitude of the Kurshimala ashram evokes the classical Vedic ambience with priests dressed in the saffron robes of the Indian ascetic. Living the life of a sadhu, Christian priests, missionaries and scholars have sought spiritual evolution and further theological thinking in the peace of the ashram set in a forest. The people of peace are in harmony with the land of their birth as they celebrate their unique heritage. Thank you. 